Hello and welcome back to EU4. I noticed uh, my uh, ally down here took some more land. He's putting down a rebellion. Hopefully he'll succeed down here. It looks like Georgia. Yeah, he did succeed. Good. So he's got a little bit more land. That's nice. Georgia looks like they're winning their little war here, which is also nice because they're not my ally right now, but they're on the list. They're a... Uh, uh, another orthodox country and they'll probably fall in line at some point once we get a couple of these relationships freed up I imagine that's the main thing holding us back now uh, Do we still have the modifier? No, we don't so we can probably start working on integrating this guy, which would be good uh, Got a ways to go till we have high enough approval it looks like I can also fabricate on you again, so We'll just go down the line here from Lithuania over. And who what else? Let's recall you for a moment. Actually, yeah, that was dumb because I have a mission that was almost complete. I, I actually do want you to keep doing that. Let's just I should have waited till you were done with your mission. Because we just probably would have finished this month or the next month. But I want to I noticed uh Sweden is getting up there in the whole uh uh, little attitude towards Denmark. They, they they were at a point last month. They were so close. They they they're they're getting up there where they're ready to uh declare independence. And I I want to keep an eye on that because if we can get our support in there, that will probably be enough to put them over the top. They need to get up to fifty percent, and I think they'll get almost fifty percent extra from me. I didn't notice this, but this is kind of nice. I can build from here now. So we'll get two more units built, and then we can retire two of the mercs. And that's just how I'm going to kind of get rid of these guys, because we need to keep our relative army strength up so nobody attacks us, and so the uh, vassals stay in line. So as we go, we'll just do that. Um, what else is going on? Nothing much at the moment. Everything's kind of going our way, except for this happening, but... Not much I can do about Poland getting more land. That's unfortunate. But we've curtailed pretty much everything out of the gate that I wanted to. I'm happy about that. Um, they, th no guy's going to be a little bit harder to deal with just because they have more territory than they usually do. But it is what it is. It's easier than dealing with them and Kazan at the same time. So I'm happy about that. 90% manpower. That's going to take forever. But it's kind of the only mission there that's really worth too much at this moment because we don't want to be going to war for a while although I'm going to be building troops so that's going to keep my manpower low we're not getting much right now well, that's really neat that they just come and join the army like that I like that that changes everything it's like an apple product it changes everything yeah so it's pretty much this is just going to be a whole lot of waiting I don't I want to go to 5 speed. 4 speed is good enough. We'll get our cores done. I think that's all of the land that's not cored will be cored. Any interesting... Oh, that is kind of interesting. If we could get in on uh, them being from our dynasty, that would help a lot. How old is our, the ruler? still pretty young. He'll probably get an heir. But that would be... That's something to keep in mind. It'd be kind of nice if he ended up being from our dynasty make life a little bit easier on us in the future for sure all right we call you probably get royal marriage anybody that I don't have a royal marriage with here Break, oh, we don't have one with you we'll give one with you why not generally generally good to have royal marriages with your little vassal friends in my opinion so we have a free diplomat what would we want him to be doing um Hmm. These guys broke free, and they are orthodox, so might as well start improving relations with them as well. Is this war over yet? Why is it taking so long? I don't know what George is doing down there, but they'll probably get that province. I don't see how they won't. Rival announced. That's fine. I don't care. So yeah, like everything is just a matter of cooling down now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Everything should be revolt risk. 
We only have revolt risk there right now. And it's not that bad. I could probably put an army on there to calm it down a little further even. Probably not a bad thing to do. Probably not a bad thing to build a couple more infantry while we can here. I love that button. Like That button is the greatest thing in the world. Can we fabricate again? We can. So lower Dawn. And we'll just... We'll keep fabricating on them. Why not? Never bad to have a claim. And that means two more of you can go away. Getting back up into some pretty decent. Uh, once we get up to around two or so, I will probably actually uh, get underway. And I decided I was reading the, the, the things here. I want to do this while I'm thinking of it. We, let's do this. What? Changing the... I don't want to... No. That's too bad. I should. I wish I had chosen the other one. It's not worth the stability hit. If, if I have something that gives me free stability come up, I might... Go ahead and uh, deal with that clarity estate against 10 loyal. I don't really want to lose the prestige. The authority is kind of nice to have. How much loyalty do they... That'll put them at 39%. That's not good. Clergy, is there anything I can do to make you happy? I guess I could grant them more land. Their influence is kind of high, though. They'll give them even more influence if I do that. I don't really want to make a general uh, donation, but I might have to. You know what? I'll take that instead. Whatever. Prestige is good to have too, but that was kind of a tough choice. It's kind of not great. Either way. All right. Two more of you, that means two more of you can take a hike. And we're about at the point where I want to send my first colonist out. And I'm just going to work on boxing in Uzbek here first, just try to complete it. Because I don't think they colonize, but might as well box them in and then we'll start working on filling it out. That way we have more opportunity to make claims and stuff too, which is always good. So it's going to be pretty slow going. Those colonies are not going to expand very quickly at this point, so it's going to be a long-term investment of money, unfortunately. Alright, so... Uh, it's telling me there's still one on the way. Okay, I get it. I get it. And the neighbor's dog is barking. I apologize for that. It happens. There's nothing I can do. The neighbor does not have a clue that it's like the rudest thing in the world, but. <sighs> Tragley disbanded. That's fine. I don't care. Cool beans. Who died? I freed up a lot of uh, stuff here. Do I really need to go for the admin points? I'll just go for a level one guy. Because we have colonies to support. Although the colony is not costing as much as I expected. Why is that? No, it is. It's just that advisor is really expensive. Okay. Lithuania remove... Uh, set Crimea as their rival. That's not good. That means they're going to... Start getting aggressive towards them. It's my land. Stay out of there. They don't have any claims yet. Which is good. And you have not allied. Usually they ally with Lithuania to help protect that. For some reason they have not. How, is there, how are things going up here? No, they didn't get Danzig. So there's still hope for Danzig. Without having to have a major war with Poland. 
And who are you allied with again? Can't really get a claim on you yet, but I can get a claim on all of this. Take it and then get a claim on you and then go to war with Lithuania probably. And then do that. It's a lot of complicated stuff that needs to happen, but that's kind of what I'm leaning towards having happen. That guy's not going to be in office too long. When we get up to 190, we're going to integrate them. I might actually, if our royal marriage with these guys break, I might end up breaking the alliance and just force vassalizing these guys. Because it always takes so long to get your economic base up to the point where they will accept. Because they're at negative 73 reasons right now. That's not good. Civil war is good, though. I appreciate that. You guys want to have a civil war? It's cool. Not in any position to be taking advantage of it right now, unfortunately. Alright, so I'm going to go with six, uh, 12 4 for my armies, I think, right now. As the composition kind of makes sense for me. Because I think our. What's our force limit at? 36. You know, a little stubby army that can come and follow the big army, the two big armies, and do the uh, the sieges. Then, because we still have pretty low uh, support limit, like it's well, it's up to like twenty. It's not terrible. Not too terrible. Maybe I'll do like sixteen four, then I can fill out my support limit pretty much. That would that probably be the way to go. And let's get rid of you and one of you I'm just trying to keep the balance correct because like I said my uh my vassals have like marginal marginal feelings towards me right now so more I can keep them in line the happier I am our truth with Uzbek has ended that's fine they're all allied together still which is unfortunate yeah, that really does complicate my life a little bit. Who's Al 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 Aqualanina? These guys, yeah, kind of what I figured. Kind of makes sense, I suppose, that they would be allied. Anything interesting going on anywhere in the world right now? Looks like things are progressing about like you'd expect. Portugal's starting to move into North Africa. Huh. Nobody's really expanded very much. It's only been like, what, 30 years at this point? But Definitely, I have been on the, the good end of the expansion thus far. Oh, well, we're getting close to being able to integrate. How are we doing tech-wise here? Looks like we're almost ready for an admin tech, but probably want to hold off actually on that. Because I don't want to get unbalanced research. It would be better to wait. Because I'm going to. The Diplo stuff is falling behind. And it's going to fall even farther behind, unfortunately. If I annex my vassal. How many points is that going to take, I wonder? God. Okay, one thing at a time. Uh, fine. That's annoying. Lithuania is making claims because they're jerks. Oh, yeah, I never did. I meant to uh, rival them. All right, so if we annex you 200 Diplo points to do that. But I don't really see a good alternative either. Because we're not going to be making any Diplo points till we actually get this done, so. Alright, looks like they've almost put down their pretenders. Everything's good down here. Yeah, cool beans. Yeah, that's fine. That always scares me when it does that. So I think we will get that up to 16 4 for our army side. So let's remove three more of you. Oh, there's 
technically enemy troops over there. Because they're rebels. Not my enemy. They're not coming over here. Alright, so... I have no diplomat. We're almost ready to... We are ready to fabricate down here, so no sense having this guy down here anymore. Recall you. It would be such a good time to attack these guys because they're getting all wrecked by these rebels, but... What are you going to do? You guys are dumb to not accept an alliance. Like, I, I would be a powerful ally if I could be turned. Uh, let's improve with you, because you're closer to accepting an alliance. We're going to have, like, the whole Middle East uh, area locked down here. I'm pretty much just going to be satisfied with cutting them off. I do want to go into uh, Turkey and Greece and stuff, but I'm going to be sad. I'm not going to bother attacking the Middle East. Although, it might be good to go down and get uh, Egypt so that we have a port here, because that would make getting to India quite a bit easier. That's something to consider. Alright, 10 prestige versus 1 base tax. I will take the prestige at this point. A base tax on a colony isn't really that great. Yay! We're having Russian Thanksgiving! I still have an army here? I didn't even know there were these guys existing. Oh, that's kind of funny. Another Merc bites the dust. I'm gonna be the point pretty soon. I think the next time I build a couple guys, I'm just gonna disband that unit entirely because everybody should be in line enough for a few months while I deal with that. And just because it bothers me. You're the real second army. What is it? Get a flag there. Is it because it has a second flat second? I don't know what that flag means. That's weird. It probably is telling me that there are two second armies, I would think. But not anymore. Alright, so wow, this is not going super well down here. So those are pretenders. What are these? I don't even know what the tribes do. What do they want? It's just like a, a various kind of... It doesn't seem like it matters. I don't think they're going to splinter off into their own country or anything like that, unfortunately. It would be nice if they did, because then we have a weak little miner next to us. But I don't think that's going to be the case. And our support limit's at 37, so... couple of these bad boys going and I do know that we're ready for tech but we're still far off on diplo tech that's very unfortunate yeah because right now what am I losing to per month yeah but the annexing needs to happen and while that is actually happening let's go ahead and get fabricating on Livonian order and that will probably have to be our next target. So we'll actually be in pretty good shape, I think, to attack at that point. Man, that being able to build troops like that is so nice. I didn't know they added that. Denmark no longer considers Lithuania as its rival. That's too bad. I would have rather had them stay rivaled it's it's handy for me what is your liberty desire oh hold your horses here hold your horses did you lose something why did their liberty desire go up so much all right then we need somebody um what are you doing improve relations with georgia you can come back from that for a bit we need to declare our support for swedish independence
might be going to war pretty soon. So definitely be nice to focus on uh, getting our manpower reserves up. But I have to rebuild the army still. Maybe Sweden can kind of win it on its own without too much direct support from me too. But We're in pretty good shape economically, actually. I'm happy. So I think we'll probably finish out the rest of seven uh, 1478 here and probably end the episode in January of 79 unless anything terrible happens in between then. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these somewhere around 20 minutes. They're not like, you know, set in stone or anything. They don't have old-timey... Okay, something just happened, so... That's probably going to be the end of the episode there. So Sweden has declared its independence... We failed that mission because we're at war. Subjugate the Crimea. That's a good mission because we're going to be doing that anyway. So we'll take that. But it's on. So what are we looking at here? Bunch of allies. They don't have that much. We have. We definitely have a troop advantage. My uh, vassals are probably going to be able to win this war mainly on their own. So I will continue to build i think and but i think i'm gonna keep my army held back and just hope my vassals can deal with this what do we actually need to win the war war go attacker uh control stockholm so as long as we keep stockholm safe we should be in good shape and like i said i think my vassals will pretty much handle most of the fighting for me so we will get our friends in sweden their independence when we come back and that's good because that's gonna be a good way to counteract uh some of this stuff i, I like to have sweden as an ally because this whole border i don't really have to worry about they have, i would like to get vyborg from them at some point because it does it is actually a russian uh, core when you become russia but that's down the road just if they get their independence then uh that's more valuable than one province so anyway i'm gonna end it here and uh when we come back we'll deal with saving sweden thanks for watching